Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Aaron Porras here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. Israeli security forces continued their series of overnight raids last night when they detained an additional 15 men suspected of incitement to violence and violent demonstrations. The men are all suspected of being key players in the two week long clashes between police and Palestinians over issues at the Temple Mount. At least five protesters died in those clashes, and dozens more rioters and police were injured. Last night's raids were conducted in Atul, Beit Hanina, Wadi Hoz, and Ras Al Amud. In a statement released this morning, the police said that they take, quote, a serious view of efforts to riot with the aim of shaping reality and to influence decision making, end quote, and that they will not allow it. This round of arrests comes at the heels of another 33 detainments from similar raids over the last few days. At least 31 of those 33 have had their remands extended, and at least nine have already been indicted. It seems the accusations against Israeli police of abuse during clashes at the Temple Mount isn't just coming from Turkey anymore. The Foreign Press Association in Israel today filed a petition with the High Court of Justice decrying the, quote, shameful performance of security at the compound. Purporting to only be filing this petition, quote, after years of empty promises, smashed equipment, and injured journalists, the petition demanded that police stop restricting entry to the Temple Mount to journalists and accuses Israeli police officers of frequently physically and verbally abusing the press. One reported case involved a Reuters cameraman who was allegedly assaulted by an officer and then had to be hospitalized with a concussion. Jerusalem District Police Commander Yoram Halevi explained last week that the constraints were to protect journalists from the violence. The Temple Mount at the time was a bloody scene of thousands of Palestinians violently protesting against metal detectors and cameras at the Muslim entrances to the compound. The added security measures were added in response to a July 14th terror attack that left two Israeli officers dead. The security measures were removed after two weeks to quell the riots. The Anti-Defamation League is taking a hardline stance against the Trump administration's most recently proposed legislation, calling it, quote, cruel, anti-family, and un-American, end quote. The bill, which was introduced by Republican Senators David Perdue and Tom Cotton, would put a sharp reduction in the legal immigration limit and would also shift the priorities of the system towards merit and skills rather than family ties. It would replace the process of receiving a green card or permanent residency permit with a point-based system. It would also cease offering preference to extended family, except for spouses and minor children. Standing with Cotton and Purdue by his sides at the White House, President Trump hailed the legislation as one that, quote, demonstrates our compassion for struggling American families who deserve an immigration system that puts their needs in America first, end quote. ADL CEO Jonathan Greenblatt responded by vowing to fight this legislation in every way possible. He believes, quote, these are the types of policy markers that exacerbate immigrant bashing and nativist attitudes. Diversity is our country's strength and immigration has made America great, end quote. The bill so far has very little support in the Senate. Israel has just completed construction of another chunk of its security wall around the West Bank. This new 42-kilometer or 26-mile section now closes off the area between the Palestinian village of Talkumia and the Israeli town of Meital, along the southern border of the West Bank. All in all, the wall is planned to be 712 kilometers long, which leaves an estimated 214 kilometers remaining to be built. But Prime Minister Netanyahu made this particular section a priority for construction last month, hoping it would put a stop to recent Palestinian terror attacks in Israel in that area. Israel started building the security wall, which has been something of a controversy since the beginning, after a wave of intense Palestinian terror attacks in 2002. The International Court of Justice declared the structure illegal in 2004 and demanded Israel tear it down. Clearly, that hasn't stopped a thing and the wall continues to grow. In a nearly fatal training accident last night, an Israeli soldier was moderately injured and rushed to the hospital. According to the Israeli Defense Forces statement, the soldier was shot and at the time of hospital admittance was in moderate condition. An investigation has been launched. That's all for now. I'm Aaron Porras and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.